today's video is going to be an H&M haul. I actually asked on Twitter, I feel like I start so many videos like this, but I did. I asked on Twitter what you would want to see first of some of the videos that I had to film. And I was so surprised. I almost didn't put this in the mix because I didn't think people would be that bothered. Uh, it's not tons of stuff, but it's just arrived and I'm going to show you what I bought. Say it's not tons of stuff, but it's a really big bag. Okay, I accidentally ordered a couple of things twice. That's not smart. Funnily enough, I actually ordered two different kinds of cardigans and I was going to give one of them to my friend, um, whichever one I didn't want. But because I've ordered multiples of things, she may be getting t-shirts instead. Oh, it's very 80s. I'm really feeling this. This is really, really nice. It's not as thick as I thought it might be. Um, it was difficult to tell because obviously it's got this weave and it looks quite chunky online. It's, it's thick enough, but it's not like a coat again or anything, which is what I kind of thought it might have been. Um, that is where it hits. Like. Okay, that one and this one are both $24.99. So these are the two cardigans that I ordered. Um, this is kind of the one that I initially was thinking of buying for my friend and I saw and thought I might actually like it. I really like this one. This is probably of the two, the one that I would wear the most. It's like a, a nice cozy, I think, feel like I've just got lipstick all over myself. I really thought I was gonna have a big streak of lipstick because it carried along with my hair. Cozy kind of in the house cardigan, you know, like a, it's actually really warm the longer I wear it, obs. Um, but it's the kind of thing that I would wear in the house with leggings and, well, what I'm wearing right now. Or I would wear to work over, like, my regular workwear. It's just, it's cosy. This was also $24.99 and I can already tell you that it's going back without trying it on. It's a really, really thick material. I mean, look at how it looks having been in the bag. I don't want to iron something that feels this thick. A jumper like this, for me, it should come out of the wash and you should be able to either just hang it and wait for it to dry or come out of the tumble dryer and it look good. This is kind of, it's, I don't know if this is wool or acrylic, let me just see. 10% wool, 38% acrylic. It is shell and polyamide, mm, dry flat. Yeah, I'll bet. This would be an absolute pain if you tumble dried this. I don't even want to try this on. Oh, and it's itchy. Okay, I'm trying it on because I thought I would be doing you a disservice, but no, this is really, Really, really no, it feels horrible. Okay, this is one of the t-shirts that I bought two of by accident. I liked the pattern, it's really not me, it's really unusual for me. I liked the pattern, I liked the slogan, I liked that this was a little bit longer. The problem I do have, now I've got it on, is it's so long, like long, long. And the idea I had had, because I really had a, have a problem with these kind of t-shirts being so long. My lipstick and my hair, it's a love affair. Um, with the t-shirts being so long, because with me being, heavier on top than the bottom. This is not flattering. This with jeans is like, no. So I would want to tuck it in, or I have a red skirt. This is like horrible lighting right now, I realise. I have a red skirt um, that I thought I could have tucked this into and it might have looked really nice, a skirt that I haven't managed to wear yet. I just think it might be too big and this is a small. It doesn't feel, it feels like this is supposed to be the right size because the neck feels right. And I don't hate the way this feels, but there's a lot of stuff right now with um, H&M that's like weirdly long, like that Harry Potter, I call it Harry Potter but it's not, the um, striped top with the little lightning bolt on it that people kept asking me about, that's weirdly long, even on the model in the catalogue and online it's got long sleeves like further than her hands, it's weird, I don't get it but I don't know, I like this, I may keep this, this was, this is $12.99. The jeans that I'm wearing are $19.99, uh, now full disclosure I do have them over the top of my leggings, because I couldn't be bothered to get changed, but I quite like these. I got them in a size too small, I'm pretty sure. Did I? Or did I actually get them in the proper size? No, I actually bought them in a 12, in which case these are really quite tight. I thought I'd got them in a 10, because I was thinking I'll get them in a 10 and they'll kind of stretch out a little bit, because oftentimes that's what happens, but no, I got them in a 12 and they're actually, I know I'm wearing them over my leggings, but they shouldn't be as tight as they are around the waist. Um, I'm going to keep them because I like the way they look, I like the way that they feel. They are, I think if you've got these particular ones, these are the petite slim ankle jeans. Um, I would probably size up if you want to be comfortable. So this is the t-shirt that started off the haul because this is the one that I kept seeing and thinking if I don't buy it, it's going to go out of stock and then I'm going to regret it. This was $8.99. Again, with a lot of stuff, it feels big. This is a small, I am a size 12. I for a long time bought mediums in H&M before I realised that medium was not, like when you actually look into it, I think I'm more of a, a small by H&M standards, but still, I mean I know with a lot of people they think H&M sizing is really way off in the opposite direction, but I think it's just kind of weird anyway, I don't think it's got anything to do with things being too small. 
Um, I think it's just all a bit strange, but this is beaded. This is $8.99 and this is really cute. I think this is nice for the price. Um, I mean, the t-shirt itself is kind of just like a cheap t-shirt. Um, it has got slightly fitted situation going on there, but it is kind of, it feels like kind of like a cheap t-shirt. The, the beading is nice. And again, if I could tuck it into something, I think it would look really cute. This with like a skirt or something. These jeans were also $19.99, same as the other ones. These are very like Joni jeans from Topshop. In fact, so much so, they are a little bit long for me. And again, I got these in a 12. I am normally a 12, but these fit nicely. These fit like, um, I would say like a, a 30, 32, or like a maybe a 28, 32 wooden Topshop Joni jeans. But if these wash well, I'll be buying some black ones because I wear those to work and they do not last. Um, and these are quite a bit cheaper. So that is pretty much everything that I bought. I'm actually gonna put this up tomorrow. So before I manage to take anything back, you will see this. So let me know what you think I should keep, and what, I, what I should take back. And the stuff that I'm gonna take back, I'll probably just exchange it. So if there's anything in store that you think I should look out for, let me know. So far, really, really enjoying this. I probably will keep the khaki one. I quite like the message. I think I could make it work with something, but it's very unusual for me. Um, mostly I was looking for some basics. The cardigans are gorgeous. And I think I'm probably just gonna go and buy my friend another one of those great ones because it's really, really nice. Um, I think the t-shirts are maybe not gonna be for her, although she might like this one. This is a bit different. Uh, but the, the gray cardigan, really nice. Absolute highlight, definitely would recommend that. So this was my quick haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.